Hi guys, hope you're all well. It's been a while, huh? I haven't really been posting videos because I've just been getting stuck. And so what I realize is the reason why I'm stuck is because of this PLC. Like I said, with my with my PLC projects, unfortunately I know it's gonna be expensive, you know. I've got to pay £30 for power supply, you know, 150 quid for a PLC, 25 quid, 25 quid, 20 quid, you know, 25 quid, etc. It just all just becomes a very expensive project. Now, I was in the process of making a water level sensor, so to say for example, once uh, you don't detect the top level anymore, then trigger a red, you know. So I was in the process of doing it and my plan was to basically fill up this water and then I could open the tap and drain it uh, so you could simulate the water level going down. And I also did buy an actual water level sensor, but for some reason, the range is only here, literally. I expected this to go up to here, so I need to... I don't know. I'm I'm working on those things, but the number one thing that I need to fix is this bloody PLC. So if we have a look, you can see in terms of um, inputs, I've only got what six inputs there, digital inputs, and digital outputs, I've only got four, and that is ridiculously limiting. You know, six inputs and four outputs. It's not even enough to do well with this project. Like at the moment, I've got my light stacks. My light stack and my buzzer attached to this output. Actually, I think I've only got half my light stack plus relays attached to this, these outputs. And then I've also got my inputs. I've got what my level sensors and then I've also got lights. Uh, sorry, I've got my buttons, which aren't even attached right now. So unfortunately, it just you can't work with this. And the, the worst thing about this PLC, so this is the 1211C. This is the cheapest 1200 PLC you can get. The worst thing about this PLC is Every other 1200 PLC and probably every PLC in the world has a socket there, uh, has an adapter socket there, so you can attach more IO modules onto the right side of it. So if you have a look on this side, you can see under there, there I've got, can I get it out? Not really. There's a socket there, so I can attach uh, modules onto this side. But the modules on this side, they're just communication modules like to add extra ethernet ports or to add a power supply. But if you wanted to get more digital inputs and outputs or more analog inputs and outputs, you have to add it onto this side, but it comes in no socket. And I was I was shocked to see that it has no that it has no expansion. You know, I, I bought this because I was like, okay, I'll start with this and then next month I'll buy an additional module for the outputs. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have it at all, which is ridiculous. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick this back on eBay and get rid of it. So I paid 150 quid for it. If I get anything around that, I'll be happy. And then I've now just ordered this. So it's a used 1200 again, but this time it's the uh, 1214C. Can't really see that clearly there. There, 1214C. So if you have a look here now, in terms of for the 1214C, it's got eight digital inputs there plus an additional six digital inputs there so i've already got 14 digital inputs there compared to my <laughs> six so the set it, look think about this right so i've paid it was 250 quid on ebay i offered i sent him an offer for 200 and he accepted it so i've got a for 200 quid i've got 16 digital inputs and for 150 quid i've only got six <laughs> now this actually does have the slot there on the right for expansion as well so I don't even know why Siemens made this, but you know, big honestly, my biggest regret. I've been looking at this PLC for the last two months and just regretting buying it. And I just I was like, ugh, I have to get a new one, I have to get a new one. Then I just kind of just it really just turned me off the whole project. And so I I'm very excited and I can't wait. Hopefully this one comes from eBay and it all works fine. So the only differences now between this is you've got more digital inputs, obviously. And then in terms of digital outputs, instead of just four, I now have, what's that? Eight there, plus an additional two. So I've got 10, 10 digital outputs. And then in terms of analog inputs, it's the same. It's just two analog inputs and two analog inputs there. And you've got the analog expansion cards that can go in here, which I can buy as well. So it's ridiculous that for an extra 50 quid. I don't, why did Steven, why would you make a PLC that you can't expand the IO, that just seems just proper a Siemens thing to do, it's ridiculous. 
So the other differences is this CPU here is DC DC relay. So that means it takes a DC input, it outputs DC voltage, and its uh, its output style or type is relay. So here your your relay you got relay outputs. So for my new one I've ordered, it's the same in the sense that it has a relay. You can see there has got a relay output, but instead of being DC input, it's now AC input. So where I've got my 24 volt supply going to this PLC, I'll now have to rewire it and just take this AC supply that I've got here and then just put that into the PLC as well. Which, hmm, that creates a little bit of difficulty for me, but it's not, not too much of a problem. So that's what I should hopefully be doing in my next video. Hopefully be connecting up the 1214 PLC, which, you know, I really just wish I got this to begin with. But... I suppose the purpose of my YouTube channel is for me to learn and this is one of the things that I am learning, you know, about the different hardware. My assumption was all the 1200s were the same, but you can see there that this 1200 is going to be even wider than this one. So, yeah, overall quite happy, quite sad. I did actually also go out and buy some trunking because, you know, I've got these spares here that I got from work, but... I went on Amazon and I managed to get these on Amazon. So they're a lot smaller, but I think I paid 15 or 20 pounds for these. So I'll, I'm gonna, my plan is to basically trunk the whole thing. So to put trunking down here, you know, around, around the whole thing and along the middle as well. So I'm gonna need to buy some more of it, obviously. The trunking is, is, is like, a, it's just purely an aesthetic thing. So it's not something I should really focus on too much. I did also buy a circuit breaker, so I'll be adding that in eventually at some point. Not that I necessarily need it, but again, I just I want to get as much experience as possible with as many components as possible. So hopefully, you should be seeing a lot more videos from me. Uh, I cannot wait to just pull this one out, chuck it back on eBay, and get my new 1214. Yeah, cool. So my big piece of advice is: do not buy a 1211C. That one. 1211C because you're stuck with what you got here and you got no choice to expand it, which is rubbish. Yeah, cool. All right, hopefully, I shall see you guys in the next video where I get excited and get out a new PLC.